right, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto. Today, I'm joined by Maria Carmo. She is the stake pool operator for Card Stake Pool, and she's also a winner for Project Catalyst Fund 2 for the Lovelace Academy. So, Maria, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing today? Hi, Patrash. How are you doing? I'm happy. You know, I'm always happy and I'm so glad, so glad. Thank you for bringing me here and talk to you and talk to your audience. It's always glad to have you on. I know it's been a while since we last spoke uh, before the Lovelace Academy got funded. So lots happened since then. Uh, long, long journey, long, long <laughs> journey with the turns, but we got there in the end. Well, I just wanted to say congratulations to you and your team. I know you guys have really just been working really hard and, and trying to create the content. So big congratulations. I'm really excited for you guys. Uh, thank you very much. It means a lot to us. We are doing really pushing hard to do the best we can. And thank you, the community, for voting for our project. So Maria, let's talk a little bit about Catalyst. I know you're the Catalyst queen. You know, you've been showing up in these town hall meetings, you've been here to answer questions for people in the community. So now with so many new people coming into Cardano, we've got a lot of questions about voting. Um, so how you can get started with voting on proposals, uh, what's the process like? Um, and now we're at fund three. So I guess if you could maybe just uh, tell us a little bit about Catalyst and uh, what can we expect with fund three? Like Catalyst is our governance system where the community votes for funding projects. And at the moment we have the developed, developed ecosystem challenge and we also have the community challenge and we have the, there is a third one that also a challenge. We have this challenge exactly the same was in fund two that was to bring entrepreneurs and programmers to Cardano. It's exactly the same, different now the fund get bigger. So, or we gonna fund more expensive and complex projects, or we gonna fund more projects. You know what I mean? Right. So we got the opportunity to fund the projects to, to, as an experiment to see if it would work in our blockchain or not. And then we go on forever in innovation, in cycles of innovation for right, right. every six and eight weeks it will be a fund. So with this fund three, so this is gonna last until, would you say like March or April or? I would say we'll be, we are already in fund three. The, it's not, you're not able to propose anymore to send your proposal. What you can do is go to IDA scale and read the proposals for the people that are representing and vote is not open yet for this stage of the, the vote. So I invite everybody to come to the Telegram group for Catalyst and ask questions, whatever questions you have. And somebody there is all in the top of every single date when it starts and when it finished. And then you ask questions because I don't want to say dates I could miss up with, you know, uh, by weeks because sometimes we delay. So the dates change. So you need to really be in the top of things. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, it was uh, looking at all the different town halls and, you know, trying to get up to speed on it. So I guess with fund three, so half a million dollars are available to people who want to submit ideas and bring value to Cardano. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely be sure to leave those links. I know you had mentioned about the Telegram group as far as staying updated with registration. Um, and then as far as looking at these proposals, Maria, were there any that you feel like you know, would provide more value to the Cardano community? Like, what is it that we're looking for exactly in these proposals? Uh, we are looking at this proposal for innovation and the next big thing in Cardano. So what I ask the community is to see if the proposal, how long the proposal will be ready, will be delivered, the entire project will be delivered in six months because the fund, when we ask for funds, is the funding a project for six months. So some people put the proposal up to fund the entire proposal and some people put portions of projects so they will when they deliver that phase the the first phase they will come back in the next phase and ask for for more funds so the community needs to watch what type of proposal they are voting because we need to keep the process going you know we cannot uh, for example 
funding just projects that will be part of bigger other projects because otherwise we never get anything delivered in six months so i think we needed to balance find out what is really important for us if the proposal is answering the challenge and then vote and use it the best you can also you can use as a parameter of if the proposal is answering the challenging if the proposal can be auditable is looking for the scores for the advisors the advisor will be rating the proposals and you can use it as a measurement for the proposals okay all right so i guess we've got people almost like moderators looking at these proposals and judging based on the objectives um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, as far as what I saw with Fund 2, so definitely was kind of an experiment, but I got to say, I think it went pretty well. Uh, what we saw with the previous funding round, I know your Lovelace Academy got funded. We got Liquid Finance funded. Um, we've got uh, Sebastian's proposal got funded with Emergo. So lots of really cool things happening there. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about some forms of um, accountability for a lot of these proposals. I mean, moving forward, you know, we're going to have these businesses essentially built uh, through the treasury, like funded through the treasury with Catalyst. And um, how how is it that, and just, you know, throwing ideas out there, but what do you feel like is the best way to show accountability for those who have voted for these proposals and the ones who did receive the funding, like how can they communicate with the community? Uh, what's the best way to um, hold each other accountable there? Look, I think the best way to hold people accountable for is the smart contracts where we program everything. So we have dates and we have deadlines and we have the levers as the smart contracts running with the time. So for me, it's the best way to control everything because everything's so big, I have a challenge there's Lovelace Academy that have to pay three people and these three people have to, to buy all the material for do the subjects or to do what we need and see the amount of numbers and buying and trans transferring and some things we pay in ADA, some things we pay in dollars, some things we pay in, in euro is so much control. So I guess so as we go on and smart contracts came to our blockchain, we can easily off the responsibility in the shoulders of the main proposer, you know? I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. Now with the, uh, with Catalyst, I know you've seen the, it's basically been your baby. You know, you've been with Catalyst since it started and it's just really cool to see the growth that, uh, you know, you've seen along with the community. Um, what do you feel like are some suggestions or tips for people who want to get started? Maybe if they have an idea for a proposal, but they're thinking to themselves, I don't even know how to create a proposal. Like what's the best way or what are some resources that you would recommend? Look, uh, come and talk to us. We have a Discord channel for Discord and you can hang around with the guys and ask them questions like we have so many smart guys in so many areas you wouldn't believe. So you come to Discord or you come to the Telegram group and then you start asking your questions and then you're going to figure out the guys you want to hang around with and probably you're going to have a subgroup of people that align with your ideas and from there you can grow your proposal, from there you can grow your ideas or you can team up with people for example i don't have the knowledge for example to program on bluetooth or malware so what i brought i brought someone from outside to a proposal me and suite to deliver this bit of the proposal so you can team up with people you can add the value to your proposal your proposal but you need to connect to people you need to know uh, what we are doing here in cardan you know because we have many uh, blockchains out there many many uh, 5,000, I think, in the market cap. But uh, we have a very few that are actually delivering results. And I think we are doing things, great, great things here. And, uh, you know, like governance. Uh, the Fund 2 was an off, off chain uh, election you know the election of the project mm -hmm. but soon enough you're gonna do it in in the blockchain itself in the main chain and i think it's huge we are setting the stage for the entire crypto community not just for cardano community and i think we are blooming in a very good uh, space and time yeah it's exciting you know we haven't even gotten to the point yet where we see gogan fully released 
Uh, and Voltaire also, right? Governance on chain, just to think that what we saw with Fun2, it's like we had to go about using a mobile application, right? There was a separate version of Daedalus. Well, the process was a little bit cumbersome, you know, just going back to that whole experiment. But, um, you know, it, it's going to be an exciting ride. I feel like the evolution of the community and what we're seeing with the technology, it's kind of working its way. It's kind of converging on this path together. And it's just so incredible to see all the people that are coming on board, um, all the cool ideas that are happening. I'm really excited about all of it. Everything talk on is everything that's happening. Like I have to make a point. So the community is amazing. If you want to learn about being a stake operator, you're gonna learn because people will tell you. If you're gonna learn about to be ambassador, just ask the ambassadors. If you want to find our forums, our websites, if you want to find any information about Cardano, if you are here in the community, people will make it available to you. They don't even care who you are, where you came from, what's your name. They don't care. They will help you, help you anyway. And I feel that love. I feel that passion. And it's what I do, what I'm, I'm doing. For example, today, I think I have been five different lives for five different channels. And I'm doing it out of love because, you know, uh, investor doesn't pay loves of money. I don't, my pool, my stake pool, Cardenas is very small. I'm not doing much money there, but I'm doing it for the love, guys, for the longer term. We're going to be here for years. As Charlie says in this video, like 10, 20, 30 years, you know, is what I'm doing, what I'm doing, Patricia. And you know, you're an ambassador yourself. You can tell me how much money you're doing as an ambassador, how much money you're doing as a stake pool operator, because you're a big, you're a big guy in game. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we started small, just like everybody, but, you know, you're totally right. It's like being an ambassador. It's, it's definitely not for the money. It doesn't pay much to be an ambassador, but just to think about the love for the community. And, and this is like seeing, it's almost like you're sharing this camaraderie with people who really don't care where you were born or your skin color or, you know, your gender or anything like that. It's really just, we have a shared vision to empower people and create better lives for ourselves and our families. Um, so I, I completely agree, you know, just to be on this journey, I'm just so humbled by it all because to think when I first started, it's just like, uh, and I was talking to you about this before we started the show, you know, it's just like to see the, ch the channel really kind of blow up. And then, you know, all these people now are getting interested in Cardano and for me to just provide the content, it takes a lot of work. It really does. And YouTube doesn't pay a whole lot either. So it, it's really like the money is, you know, it's just a byproduct of the amount of work that you put in. And what keeps me going is really just seeing that shared value from people who I'm able to help, you know, messages that I get from our audience just saying, you know, you, you really inspired me to get involved and, and you've been such a great help on my journey. It's stuff like that, you know, that really keeps me going. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I have a stake pool. The name of the stake pool is River. This guy sent me a message and he told me in his message, a priv private message, I don't even remember which social media. And he say, I saw you in Kaizen and you both expire me. And now I'm having me, my own stake pool. And like just tears came out of my eyes, you know, because uh, inspire people as something unique, unique. Teaching is unique, but inspiring people, doing things around the blockchain, doing things about Cardano, come around and learning with us. Because all what I do is ask people to allow the process of learning. I don't say invest. We are not here just for the big money. We are here for the long term to learn all the in and out of Cardano, you know? So my proposal is all about education, all about to tell people what we are doing. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. So Maria, I think that this was a great conversation. Of course, you know, we always love having you on the show. Um, is there any closing remarks? I think that we've definitely touched on some good points here in regards to Project Catalyst. Uh, do you have any uh, closing remarks before we sign off for today? I just would uh, tell anyone out there with a proposal in Catalyst, you can subscribe to Lovelands Academy on Telegram. And we are being holding meetings and recording videos so you can show your proposal to the community. Everyone is welcome and is just need to meet my schedule because I'm going to do it a few, few times in the day. And just come around, present your uh, proposal to the community and let them vote for the best of 
of you. I think people understand better the proposals when there's a video there. Uh, Cardon Effect did a very good job doing it in the, in the beginning of uh, Fondo 2. And we are just uh, like allowing a place to people to express themselves and express their ideas. Wouldn't be live, so you can come around and ask questions and I will ask for the proposal to still revisit the videos and the comments and answer all the questions you have. This is my tip, answer your public, answer the community, interact with them because it will pay off in the long term. Yes, I completely agree. And you touched on such a great point there with the video. So guys, we'll, we'll be sure to leave all those links for you all down in the description below. Uh, if you're interested in registering, be sure to join that Telegram group. There's lots of amazing people there that can help answer any questions for you. Um, so Maria, thank you so much again. Again, congratulations to you for Lovelace Academy and winning your proposal on Fund 2. And um, looking forward to getting the chance to talk with you again soon. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you soon. And by the way, where is our talking about Tesla? Tesla, Nikola Tesla, right? 369. Yeah. I've had to read yeah. up on that. <laughs> All right, Maria. No Thank problem. you so much. See you Take soon. care, everyone.